As you can clearly see, Harley is so excited that it's his fifth birthday today. I don't know. Good morning guys, how are you all doing? I'm trying to not be too loud and I can't speak properly this early in the morning. It is currently quarter to seven. I'm not with it. <laughs> the reason I'm up this early is today we take down the tent and unfortunately it's wet. It's been raining on and off all night. So as you can see the tent is wet. All the way around. Before I came out though I gave the wall a shake to let all the water or most of the water dr run off the top because I made the mistake of the other day where it had been raining only a little and I went out and as I went to shut the door all the water that was on the top came running down on top of me and I'm like ah at least it was a hot day and in fact right now it's not that cold I'm not used to it usually when I'm camping first thing in the morning it is freezing or during the night I remember the Lake District was so cold I was having like not just one sleeping bag but two sleeping bags on me here I've, I've been in and out of the sleeping bag during the night it's that warm but yes I have to take this down today not yet in a bit first I need to walk Harley have a shower I stink <laughs> I've not showered since Tuesday night I think I was gonna do it last night but I couldn't be bothered <laughs> and then I need to have breakfast I need to pack everything and then I can take this down I just wish it was dry so I've finally got the tent down and everything in the car just in time because it's now raining more than it was it's been drizzling but I've been that warm doing the tent I've not felt it and I was hoping to be done for 10 o'clock and it's bang on so I timed that just right however I now want to get changed I'm currently in my jogging bottoms because I didn't want to get my jeans mucky and this shirt's all wet from sweat and you guys are steaming up <laughs> <laughs> that's because I'm warm and Harley's Relaxed, he's waiting for us to go. Alright, yeah. Hey. But yeah, I've managed to get absolutely everything in the car. But before we set off, I'm going to go get changed. <sighs> so that means I've got to go out into the rain again. Hmm. And then once I've done that, we're off to a place I haven't been to in 12 years. Welcome to Cardiff. That's right, I'm in Cardiff. I've not been here for 12 years. And right now, I'm kind of lost because I don't know where anything is right now. And I have been here twice before. I'm just trying to get my bearings by finding something I recognise. And at the same time, not lose where I park my car. Yeah. I've had to park in John Lewis car park. And trying to get out was a nightmare. There's no actual exit to the outside. You have to go through, well, an entrance of a shopping mall. But I have to admit, as I was coming into Cardiff itself, I was getting excited. I love it here. Ah. I see a castle wall. That'll tell me where I am. I was right, I now know where I am. Castle entrance is here. There's a forbidden planet on here. Although I'm sure I can't go in with Harley. So I know to come to the end of the castle and down that way. Yes, I've been here twice before. The first time was in 2006 with my friend Martin for his stag do. We were here for a weekend. So we got a lot of drinking done. In fact, we went down to Cardiff Bay, which is where I want to go after here. And then, a few months later, I decided to drive me and Joe here. And that's when I got a speeding fine, because they had uh, speed cameras up on a bridge, hiding. But we still had a good day, because we, we drove down, went around Cardiff, had a quick wander down to Cardiff Bay, and then went back home again. There's Forbidden Planet. The thing is, I think I've only ever been in it once. But there's the castle entrance. The question is, can I go in there or not? Well, that just saved me £13. Apparently dogs are not allowed in. <laughs> well, as soon as I saw the price, I thought, no, I'm not going in there. Never mind. Let's cross the road. If anything, I'm starting to get hungry. I think I'm going to look for a place to eat. I'm now walking down High Street. And this is one of the reasons why I love it here. 
look at the architecture of these buildings. They're absolutely gorgeous. <coughs> if I remember right, there's a pub or restaurant down here. I can't remember if it's one or the other. Where they've got, or they had some weird toilets where, but I'll show a picture right here from my last time here. Yeah, they were bizarre. And as yet, I've yet to be able to go into any shops at all. But to be honest, I'm not that bothered. In fact, I'm more bothered about finding somewhere to eat. I'm getting hungry. This is the place I was talking about, yard. It is, it's a bar and kitchen. So I'm kind of thinking of eating here. Actually, I think there's seating around the bay, I'm not sure. Yeah, around here. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's changed much. Yeah, there's all this area here, look, see? All these restaurants. That one's changed, it were um, Planet Hollywood before. Yeah. I think I might eat here. Look at the burger I've got. Oh, that's going in my belly. Mm. I enjoyed that burger. And now I've come to the end of where most of the shops are. There's no more down here, just down here towards John Lewis, where my car is. And I've not been able to go in one shop, not even a charity one. But it was nice to see Cardiff, but I'm not quite done yet. There's one more place I need to go. Welcome to Cardiff Bay. This place is beautiful. I've uh, been on there drinking before. <laughs> But yeah, this place has really grown. I think there's more shops than there were before. I'm pretty certain that's new. I could be wrong. I do see one thing that's new. Yanto Shrine. For fans of Torchwood would know what it means. I have to go and have a look at that and take some pictures. But yeah, this is Cardiff Bay. And I love it down here. Hence the big smile on my face. Fun fact, for those of you who know about my place to visit videos that I talked about previously, the very first one I ever did was here in Cardiff Bay. Another fun fact, you see this building here with the weird roof. John Barrowman, I don't know if he still does, but he lived there while he was filming Torchwood here. I'm trying to get down to that Yanto Shrine. You can get down here, look. I don't think I've actually been down to this part. It's nice and cool. Oh. I don't remember that ferris wheel being there. There's a lot of sailboats out there. Here we are, Yanto Shrine. Right here, look. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, it's beautiful around here. And there's something else to show you around there. This is a beautiful red building. I don't exactly know what it is. For those of you who've watched Torchwood, this is where it's supposed to be underneath. And when they had that big explosion, this is where the crater was. But there are more interesting things over here. There's this place, which is also featured on Torchwood. Oh yeah, I forgot about this wishing well. I can never remember what this building is called. I'm sure it says it on here somewhere. That's it, the Wales Millennium Centre. That's what that is. It is awesome. I really do like it around here. Looks like it has been expanding quite a lot though. I don't remember all of this stuff. I mean, probably wrong, it probably were there anyway. Oh, there's one other thing from Torchwood. This. Look at that. <laughs> I'm not getting too close. We'll get wet. <laughs> but the thing is, you know I have to do this. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic, this place. I really love it. I can't believe it's been 12 years since I was here. And I'm fairly certain there's some other things to see a bit further down. So I think I'll go and have a look. Yeah, I remembered this building that's made of glass. It's called the National Assembly for Wales. It's a good view of the bay from here. I'm pretty certain there was something over here. The last time I was here, I think a boat of some sort. Whether it's still here or not, I don't know. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this boat I was looking for is no longer here. I'm not sure exactly where, but I think 
here it was dogs a big red one i'll show you a photo of what i'm talking about i think there were quite a few boats and i'm not sure but i think it was also a cafe my memory of that's a bit sketchy but yeah it looks like it's gone and it makes you wonder why all of this is just empty it's just no boats at all i've noticed bbc wales is over there i think that's where they filmed a lot of doctor who actually i'm just uh, having a wander around here I don't think I've ever ventured this far before. Might as well, it's my last day. You can see more of the bay at this end. I've noticed something. That's our Doctor Who experience. I heavily suspect I won't be able to go in because I've got Harley. Oh man. I've reached the end of my walk. There's a checkpoint because there's a, a boat race thing going on which explains all the sailboats. I mean I'm not really into boat racing so it looks like it's just some sort of walkway or something for people to walk on, cycle on, whatever. So I'm gonna start making my way back now. I think poor Harley needs to get out of the sun. Not me though, in case you haven't noticed I managed to fish my vest and shorts out of the car. It was a bit of a struggle but I did it. I'm glad I did because that sun is very, very hot right now. I'm loving it. That's it, I'm done with Cardiff. I've gone all around the bay. Poor Harley's shattered, he wants to go now, don't you? He's got to 25 to 4, I need to get off. It's going to be a long journey home. But it's been nice coming back here. Hopefully, it won't be another 12 years. Come on, birthday boy, it's time to go home. Well, I might not get home any time today trying to get onto the M4. Been like this all along the A48 from Cardiff Bay. I've been on the road for 45 minutes and I'm just getting onto the motorway. And we're doing a lot of this, stopping, starting, mostly stopping. I should have gone home tomorrow morning. Off the motorway now, onto an A road. And this is more like it. So maybe I'll get home sometime today. <laughs> and now I'm thinking I won't. I've uh, pulled off to a service station to let Harley out. Well, talking of Harley, when I had the windows wide open to cool him down, I took a very little small video of it. I'll just show you that now. He was loving it. Kept him nice and cool. Then we started having some rain, so I had to put the windows up and the aircon had to come on because it's still very hot and right now it's glorious weather again but two things one there are massive clouds on the horizon so I'm assuming it's going to rain again and two I've just got onto the M5 I've had to come straight off it here to the service station because all the lanes are chocker they're like just stood and I'm like oh <laughs> so it might take a bit longer to get home than I thought and that's why I've just said that I might not get home today. <laughs> so I'm thinking of maybe uh, having a McDonald's because they've got one here and having a break because otherwise I'm just going to be sat in traffic for the next however long. And it's reminding me of when I left New Forest last year. I had the same problem, just traffic all the time. And instead of getting home in like four hours, I think it took what, what six, six and a half. I was about to look at my watch, I took it off again. It's about six o'clock, so I've been going for about two hours already. We're already out of Wales, we're back in England. Like I said, we're on the M5, so we're not far from Birmingham. I just don't know how much longer it's going to take, especially all this traffic. Oh yeah, there's the uh, rain that was on about over in the distance. I'm expecting more. I was hoping to avoid it, but with all that traffic, I doubt I will. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> We're home, as you can see, and it's only half past eight. We only did that one stop off. As soon as I got back onto the M5, the traffic was moving and it kept slowing down, stopping, then going again, and then speeding up and slowing down. And it kept doing that for a long while, but eventually got onto the M42, you know, the motorway that I don't like. That led onto the A42, you know, the road that I don't like. And then eventually onto the M1. And there was quite a bit of traffic, but here I am, half past eight, home. 
but I kept watching Harley sat in the back what, and, and the wind's just blowing away at him. That's how I should have it all the time because it calms him down. He, he, he just lays there and just, you know, he, he just enjoys the air. If I'd have known that beforehand, from now on, that's what I'm going to do because, like I said, I, we only stopped off once this time. I think, did I stop off three times on the way? I can't remember. So that's why I didn't take as long. I was hoping to be home for between nine and ten o'clock. I got here before then. Brilliant. And now I'm going to end the vlog because I've got to unpack that car. There's so much in there. Oh, and the other thing is, uh, when I stopped off at that place, I said I might go to McDonald's. Well, I didn't have a McDonald's. So that's why I set off again. And I'm still not that hungry right now. Weird. And I've got some chicken nuggets in the freezer. I could have them later if I get hungry. I don't know. All I know is, as soon as I've unpacked that car, I'm just going to relax with a beer. I think I've got some in the fridge. Let me check. Oh, <laughs> I do. If I don't fancy a beer, I can have one of these. <laughs> They're really nice. I'm kind of thinking of having one now. I'm not driving anymore, am I? Why not? <coughs> it's refreshing. Seriously, you, you're going to bed already? <laughs> bless him anyway guys i'm gonna go so i shall say thank you for watching and subscribing if you uh, yeah if you have <sighs> it seems i can't talk properly at night either i blame the fact that i've been up since half six <laughs> until the next time peace out i know what will get harley out of his bed the birthday present i bought him yesterday oh you heard it did you there you go. Happy birthday. <laughs> I'll tell that as a you're welcome. <laughs>